Welcome to another Combustion Chamber Live. We are on our way to an awesome exotic car show in Celebration, Florida, and I have the pleasure today to drive this beautiful Ferrari California. Let's get after it. Right now this car is not in full auto mode. I have to shift here with the paddles. So uh, I've driven this car before and, and I really, really like it. I like that you know, you've got that hard top feature, but it's a convertible as well. Just a, just a stellar car to drive. All right, so here we are in Celebration, Florida, and we're gonna start off with this Ferrari 348. I've had the pleasure of driving this car. This is uh, owned by a gentleman named Spiro. Uh, his Lamborghini Huracan Performante, uh, we did an episode on, and I'll link to that below. It was uh, probably one of my favorite cars to drive, but he's got two of his cars here today. The Ferrari California I drove earlier, and this one. And like I said, I've had the pleasure of driving this one. I love the stick shift. And this is just, just classic Ferrari design. I really get a kick out of it. Really good looking car. Just nice all the way around. And if we swing around here, we've got the Ferrari California that I drove earlier today. Uh, I've driven this car two times, two or three times. And I was talking about it earlier, but I love it. A fantastic car. Uh, you could easily make this a daily driver. It's just that comfortable, that reliable. It's got the amenities that a lot of people want. And I kind of consider it sort of, uh, I don't know, it, I don't know if you call it an underdog or not, but for me, I just love it. And I don't know, it doesn't get uh, as much attention, I think, as like a 488 or a 458, but I love it. And right next to it, we've got a second generation Audi R8 with the V10. I was talking to these gentlemen earlier. They also have a beautiful Lexus that you can see uh, in some of our other cars and coffee videos, uh, specifically the Central Florida cars and coffee. And this is uh, another one of their cars. <laughs> Trying not to get my shadow in it there. You wanna see the cars, not me. But beautiful and white. Has the carbon exposed carbon fiber panels here. And you know what they did on the second generation that is different, of course, is it used to be one solid piece. And we're gonna see that in a car a little bit later that is also here. And you've got your V10 in the back. White with a red uh, interiors is pretty classic, and it always works well together, I think, anyway. It's pretty big in the Corvettes, too, the older Corvettes, like your first and second generations. Ferrari FF. Once again, I think this car probably doesn't get as much attention as it should, but uh, it's just it's a good-looking car. Now, I haven't had the... the uh, pleasure of driving it but uh, the owner tells me of course it handles like a dream it's a Ferrari that's kind of a, a given but the engine is actually mounted behind the front wheels here so it is a mid ship design only the engine is in the front and that would explain the elongated uh, front end black on black looks like you could fit you could fit your kids back there just a nice interior. I like the uh, the black on black, but with the white uh, offset stitching. I think that really that pops. Now we have a Lamborghini Gallardo, not Gallardo Gallardo. I say that every time I know, but that one song uh, I can't stand. It. Anyways, so. Uh, beautiful car and the beautiful sort of this metallic, I don't know if you call it pearl or metallic yellow. Let's try to get you a close-up look at a, just a gorgeous color. One of my favorite colors that Lamborghini has ever produced. I got to drive one of these that is in a very similar yellow. It was a uh, Lamborghini Aventador. I drove that for the show. I can link to that below as well. But I've never driven a, uh, no, no, I've only ridden in a Gallardo. I've never driven one. 
he's got his top up currently, but if he were to fold it back, this whole back section here where the engine is, this is a V10, kind of pops up a little bit, comes back a little bit, and that folds in there. It's pretty a pretty big affair. He's got an aftermarket carbon fiber spoiler on it. Come around here, Maserati Gran Turismo convertible on this one. We had one of these on the show. It was a pretty rare spec car that we had. Uh, that gentleman is, uh, is also real nice and uh, is a Ferrari owner now. So, and this has got a beautiful, uh, I don't call it with the exact colors, but beautiful maroon with that cream white interior. Let's check that out. So it's got wood grain, cream white seats, really good looking car. It's got the maroon stitching to match the exterior there. And a classic Mercedes Benz, I think is it a 260 SL, if I'm not mistaken? <laughs> pretty classic I remember I don't know what year this car is but you know if you've ever seen like Beverly Hills Cop or any 80s movie you know this car was pretty popular I think what wasn't it in uh, no uh, 280 SL that's uh, that my mistake 280 SL I got the title or the name of the car wrong but I'm also not a Mercedes-Benz expert but yeah you saw this a lot in the 80s in, in different movies so I don't know if it was the exact same model that you saw in some of those 80s movies but very similar in design look how clean this I love all the chrome accents, the, the painted dash, the wood grain steering wheel. It's a manual. Just get a kick out of it. And right next to it, a really landmark car for Lamborghini, the Lamborghini Diablo. This one has uh, something special about it though. It was in Dumb and Dumber. So this is the one that Jim Carrey shows up in. And this car, it doesn't age. It's such a beautiful designed car. It's really timeless. Uh, I can look at that all day. Of course, the doors come up like this. They don't open like traditional doors. This is a V12 powered car. Stick shift. Just a nice, nice car. You know, this kind of signaled a, sort of a resurgence for Lamborghini. I believe this is the car that they came out with after Chrysler bought it. And right next to it, we've got a GT3 RS, a Porsche. Pretty wild car. The center center bolt wheels on there, the lug nut. That's what I call it. Really nice car. Porsche makes some outstanding stuff. Drove a 911 turbo on our show. And while this one has got a lot more performance-based things on it, that 911 turbo was was outstanding in there. And it actually, I don't know about that car, but the 911 turbo we drove actually had a child seat in the back. He could fit his kids in the back of that car. So right here we have a 458 Italia. Only rode in one of these, never had driven one, but the one that we had on our show is a very powerful and it's a nice episode. It's a, it's a tribute to, to, to a family member. Beautiful car. Black on black, kind of hard to see. The windows are up, but. <clears throat> Come around here. Here's your engine. classic Ferrari Testarossa it'd probably be popular all on its own but it was in the show Miami Vice that one was a white one and it only had one mirror on the driver's side really aggressive styling you know I love I love this going down the side here so you've got all sorts of cooling and ventilation for the engine in the back but once again, it's one of those cars that really doesn't age. It looks great. I know a couple people who have these and they're just, yeah, they're fantastic cars. 
And I like, I don't know, they're just iconic to me. They're, they're aggressive in how they look. So we have a very modified Audi R8 V10. He's got uh, what looks to be, he's got aftermarket wheels, uh, aftermarket carbon fiber accessories running all throughout the vehicle. He's got it right here on his um, rear view mirrors. And it's a stick shift, now that's wicked. Carbon fiber accents on the inside as well. I don't know if that, if that comes with the car. <clears throat> so like a Giardo, you know, this whole hatch will come up. So the guy can, uh, it'll come up just a little bit and he can get the uh, top back up because it rains all the time here in Florida. But you can see that the factory spoiler is in its up position there to, to uh, create downforce uh, for the vehicle. But he has this aftermarket spoiler as well. and some more aftermarket parts. So I wonder what else he's done to it. I, I have to talk to the owner about this. But it's a sharp looking car. And right here, we've got a Ferrari 458 Spider. And Natalia, this car, like the California, has a hard top that folds into the back. It's not a cloth top car at all. Well, it's, it's got a classic spec kind of package too. It's got the white with the red interior. And this whole section right here will lift up and then two pieces come out, lock down into place, and then this will close again. And now you've got a hard top car. What they call it a spider. A beautiful red interior. All right, Ugh, got some love bugs. That's something that happens here and this time of year in Florida, these, these bugs and they just get all over your car. It's disgusting. And they can, they can damage your paint depending on uh, you know, how the quality of your paint. But we've got a McLaren 570S. These guys are cutting edge with everything they do. I like the uh, orange calipers, kind of kind of that neat highlight, that offset. Got a little bit of that on the seat in there, on the black interior. And your air feeds into there. Let's get kind of there so you can see the inside. And your engine in the back. It's pretty neat with these cars with the engines in the back and the ventilation. When they park, you can see the heat, you know, coming off the engine. It's pretty wicked. Here is another second generation uh, Audi R8. Good looking car with a red uh, with the red interior. There's a lot of white cars with red interiors today. 458 pulling up over there. We'll go check that car out in just a second. Let's get a clean interior. Now this one uh, doesn't have the V10 badge on the side. I don't know if that was an option or the owner just decided to take it off, but there's your V10 motor. Your, your spoiler that will come up and down as necessary. Pretty neat car. Okay guys. So check this out. It's one of my favorite cars here. Lamborghini Aventador SV. You've seen this before. I hope you have on some of our other live streams. It's got this beautiful blue pearl color. Don't know the exact name. It's got aftermarket wheels, aftermarket exhaust. This thing is loud, but it sounds so, so good. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar, this car is V12 powered. It's already powerful and high tech all on its own. But the, 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 the black uh, with the orange highlights. And I believe that mount there for the iPad is something that the owner created. It's something he's done. So what makes the Super Veloce different than uh, your regular Aventador? And I use the term regularly loosely. Well, on an Aventador, these vents are not fixed in place like this. They're active aero components and they will articulate to let air in as necessary. Same thing with the spoiler on the back. It's an active component. Here, they've gotten rid of that for fixed lightweight carbon fiber pieces. Now, this car is uh, can be a track beast. You can drive it around. 
Um, <clears throat> you don't have to worry about bottoming it out because like many of the cars here, the front suspension will raise and lower up to two inches so you don't scrape the front of your Lamborghini because that's, that's not good. And you can see the tips here for the aftermarket exhaust. But yeah, probably, and, and I love the spec on this car. You know, you see a lot of Lamborghinis in, in yellow and green, especially Aventadors. You know, those, those, and this is a bright, vivid color too, but uh, the, 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 the blue and with the orange, I just think is a great combination. And that orange runs throughout the car. It's on the brake calipers. It's on the interior. Yeah, we have a first generation uh, Audi R8. And uh, like I said earlier, you come along here, this single carbon fiber piece on the second uh, generation that is now split, but it runs down the car. And you know, when they started producing these, that was just, it was just such a cool design and, uh, and it really caught people's attention. A look at this this is gorgeous probably probably one of the most unique cars out here and you don't see it very often the classic Porsche you see a lot of late model stuff but this thing is clean as a whistle 356 this is nice and you know I like the late model stuff I love the technology but these classics man Just, just gorgeous. Let's get a, a full shot here. I really need to brush up on my Porsche history. <laughs> just a good, good looking car. Great looking car, in fact. Now, another late model Porsche, the GT4, is here. You can kind of see just how, how, how things have evolved over the years. The interiors are both clean and nice, but you know, you've got, you've got your, your different materials now. But it's great because this is a stick shift car, and I love that. You've got your big tack right there in the center. It's definitely meant to drive. Get you a full shot of that. Good looking car. Great looking car, in fact. And then over here, uh, this is pretty crazy looking. It's wrapped. It's a 370Z, but if you look down, there's a hashtag LS370Z. This has been uh, LS swapped, and you know, as a guy who owns a car with a with an LS motor, my GTO, I'm a big fan. Uh, they're such great motors. There's a thousand parts from them. They're reliable. There's nothing wrong with a 370Z as is, but I I like it when people kind of go crazy and do their own thing. So, so this is a. But definitely, you know, he's got it wrapped. He's got a, um, it's kind of hard to see on the inside, but you know, you've got, you've got your, uh, I think he's got some aftermarket racing seats. Big old spoiler. He's got the Decepticon logo there, but yeah, he's got, uh, he's, he did his own thing and it's pretty wild. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of the LS motors. Y'all know this. Even Ford guys are fans of the LS motors. Don't let them tell you otherwise. And a Ferrari 458 Italia. Beautiful car. Just, yeah. Because like I've never driven one, but we did an episode on one, and the owner is just, a, just an outstanding guy. I hope that he sees this as well. Yeah, just such a good looking car. And while this isn't the largest car show, the quality is what counts the quality of the cars. Look at that lineup. And this has always been a, a discreet car show uh, in and around Celebration Florida, put on by my friend who was uh, very kind and letting me drive his Ferrari California.
I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. And if you like what you saw here, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for instant notifications. Hit that thumbs up if you really liked it. Share it with your friends. And for professional photos from today's event, those will be on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you really want to support us, check us out on Patreon. And Natalia, this one's for you because I know you've never seen a car that has a hard top that folds into the back like this Ferrari California. So this one's for you. And to the rest of our fans out there, hey, without y'all, we don't have a show. So thank you for your support.